Okay guys, so today we've got a great property in Whitehaven. Whitehaven is where Elvis lived, uh, just south of downtown, west of FedEx or the airport. This three bedroom, one and a half bath house has been completely renovated, brought back to 2019 standards. Three big trees were cut down recently. Let me grab my pointer. So this tree in the back, uh, this tree on the side of the home, which is about three feet from the house, and you can't see it in the picture, but there's another tree about 10 feet from the front door that have all been removed, and I'll have a better exterior picture coming your way as soon as we get that yard cleaned up. So it's got a three bedroom, one and a half bath, uh, one car carport, oversized driveway, very attractive to renters in the Whitehaven area, tons of comparable sales in the area. So we know this house is priced right. So before we get started, uh, the big May event's just around the corner, May 17th and 18th. If you haven't booked your tickets yet, please go on the website, jameswalkup.com, click on the button that says, give me more information, register for the event, book your flight, book your hotel. I'd love to see you here in May. So where is the property we're checking out today? From downtown, due south west of the FedEx uh, Air Cargo Hub, our Memphis International Airport, into Whitehaven. This little property is really close to Graceland. That's where Elvis lived in the 1970s. Uh, great area. We're experiencing more and more home ownership in the Whitehaven area. Great for Memphis, bad for investors because we're fighting against homeowners to buy these houses, right? So great. I love seeing that as a Memphian, someone that lives here. Um, I live right in the center of town. I don't live way out in the suburb. So it's really good to see areas of Memphis on the upswing for appreciation because of home ownership. All right, so always when you're showing a property, start with a wow and end with a wow is what they teach you. So let's start with this kitchen. It's just amazing. It's got uh, painted cabinets, new hardware, tile floors, black appliances. The range will be installed in this little vacant area here. It's got a back den area. We should look at that in just a minute. The bedrooms are just completely knocked out. You've got your LVP floors, that's luxury vinyl plank. If you're not familiar with luxury vinyl plank, it's a commercial application that looks great in houses. Now we love putting it in our rental homes because it's extremely durable and the tenants absolutely love it. It looks just like hardwood. Um, you can pull furniture or, you know, in my case if, at, at home, I've got two small children, a tricycle and toys across it. It doesn't scrape, it doesn't scratch. And that's why we love it because you can get years and years of wear and tear out of these floors versus some other materials that you, you wouldn't. So of course, freshly painted, new light fixtures, blinds on all the windows. This house is move-in ready and that's how we've already secured the tenant for this property and it's not even finished being renovated. So I always say this, um, I say there's a huge demand for quality rental properties in Memphis, Tennessee. I'd go as far as to say there's too many rentals in Memphis. Didn't expect to hear that from me, right? But it's easy to stand out amongst the mediocrity that is Memphis landlords, Memphis investors who have houses that don't smell nice, that aren't a clean place to raise a family, a safe place to raise a family. So if we can offer clean and safe workforce housing we stand out amongst the crowd. We stand out amongst that mediocrity. Check out this bathroom. Super clean. That's as close to new construction as you're gonna get. Uh, single mom, couple of kids renting this house, walks in, sees that bathroom. Uh, this is the full bath. We have a half bath you'll see in a minute. This is the type of home you can move right into. Bring your furniture, bring your clothes. You're living there, on with life. Here's the master bedroom. So the master bedroom has the half bath. So mom will have her own bedroom, her own half bath. The whole family will share the full bath with the shower. New uh, doorknobs, new hinges, uh, all the hardware in the house. So this is the nice little half bath for mom. Uh, not very often you see a picture from the attic, but I had to show you this. Just very well installed um, HVAC system. It's Goodman brand, it's a great brand. Easy to find parts for if that, that's ever needed. Hard duct work through part of the um, home and you see the flexible duct work coming in here. But just a super clean attic, super clean mechanical job. Wanted to point that out to you guys. This is the back den area. This was an add-on years ago. And the floors were just a little uneven, so I didn't want to come in with tile 
or um, LVP because it might show those imperfections. So carpet was the bright option here. I would st normally stay away from carpet, but in this room, it's a cozy room with a fireplace. I think the carpet was the right choice for this one with a door that leads off to a deck. This is highly desirable by a quality renter. The front living room, so this has two living areas, very um, livable home, a great floor plan for a family, especially one that might want to entertain. Maybe they'll have Thanksgiving at the house. We did a red door. Uh, it's attractive to a lot of the tenants in this area, and I'm going to keep doing the red doors until I hear from my tenants that they don't like it because all of them say, ooh, I love that red door. Another shot of the kitchen, looking into what I would call a flex space. So the door from the carport comes in this back area, got a little whiteboard up where mom could write, you know, homework assignments or, hey, don't forget to take out the trash. This could be a nice little office, a place for mom to do the bills, kids to do the homework. And then this little cubby hole was put in by the original builder for the refrigerator. So the refrigerator fits perfectly in that hole and uh, is uh, well trimmed out for that purpose. Another little shot of the kitchen where the black range is going to be installed here. Super clean house. Uh, this is one that is a no-brainer. It's got the 1% rule. It's selling for $89,000. It's renting for $900. So what does that mean, cash on cash return? Almost 9%. 8.96% cash on cash return. For those of you paying cash, it's right at a 7.6 cap. Uh, net operating income annually, almost $7,000. Total cash needed to purchase this home, $22,800. Finance the rest. So that $22,800 includes your 20% down payment and closing costs. So from the website, you can click on the picture of any of my houses, and that's going to open what we call the diligence vault. The diligence vault is going to give you everything you need to know, to say this house isn't for me, eliminate it as a possibility to your portfolio, or continue to dig in. So we'll have before, during, after photos, pro forma, tax information, even the flyer from the uh, property management team that's renting this house. So here's some uh, a shot of the photos I've got in there. I'll overload you guys with photos because some of you are thousands of miles away. That's the best way for you to feel like you're here in Memphis with me. All right, so James's um, tidbit for the day. So I love this quote. So you've got, to, you've got to ask. Asking, in my opinion, the world's most powerful and neglected secret to success and happiness. So what are you asking yourself? Are you saying, you know, what do I need to get that next property? Should I come to the event in May and learn about why Memphis is a perennial market for investors year over year? Um, meet James's team that he's assembled that makes this possible for hundreds of, of investors around the world. Ask these questions. Maybe you need to convince your spouse to come to the event and learn why you're so interested in uh, Memphis real estate. So do you have the capacity and tenacity to persevere? Keep on asking until you succeed. I had a guy recently say, James, i um, hate to ask you this question, but could you take 5,000 less for the house? Hey, I got to give him, you know, kudos for asking that question. So ask the questions that are going to get you where you're going, where you want to be. Now the answer was no, but I applaud him for asking the question. I've got so many investors. I'm humbled and honored that so many of you guys are looking to purchase your next investment property with me and my team. Um, it, of course, there are no discounts. We price these houses right in the beginning and they all sell very quickly. But if you have any questions about, you know, why Memphis, set up a call with me. Let me go back a slide right here. There's a button that says talk to an advisor. So make a list of questions. You know, think of, you know, the questions, the barriers are holding you back from getting what you want. Schedule a call with me and let's knock them out. I want to be here to support you. I want to be a catalyst to help you reach your investment goals. All right, so if you haven't signed up for the big event, go to the website, click the button that says register now. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Every time one of these videos is produced, you'll get a little alert. You'll be able to watch it on your phone or your computer, and it'll keep you updated with the changes in Memphis real estate and what we're doing to stay in front of the curve when it comes to owning rental properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks, and have a great day.